Hi guys, I hope you're all well. My name's Kazim. I'm a trainee licensed conveyancer. Um, for any of you that know, don't know what conveyancer is, um, conveyancers are specialist property lawyers. So we study property law um, for a good number of years and we end up becoming specialists in that area of law. Um, so we deal with buying and selling properties, uh, all the legal work that comes within that. Um, so that might be drafting leases, uh, all the legal work involved, uh, buying and selling properties. So that's what we do. Um, over the years, um, so obviously I've, I haven't just been given this role. Um, I've, I've had to work my way up. I've had to um, find different opportunities to then put my, get my foot in the door. And I think that's a key aspect of the advice I'm going to give you today. So I've got two bits for you. Um, the first bit I would say is to make sure that your CV is specific to the company and the business that you are looking to uh, apply for. Um, the reason for this is that any CV, if you just made a CV, it's, it's generic. It's kind of outlining, it's outlining you, your, your skills, your achievements, everything to do with you. But if you just tweak it to, to fit, the company that you're applying for, that may be the difference between being hired and being rejected. Um, what I've found is the more research you put into the company and the business that you're applying for, the greater your chances, even for an interview. Even if you were to get an interview, that's success, in my opinion, because a lot of companies, that what they do is they shortlist so they will shortlist the CVs that they think are a good fit. So even being successful for an interview means that you're on the right track. On the right track. 